I'm Giulio Toffoli, project leader of Jaspersoft Studio, and in this video we will see how Jaspersoft Studio Professional 7.2 can help you when working with Jasper Reports IO. Now, first of all, what is Jasper Reports IO? Well, it's some kind of microservice that exposes some APIs to let external application to execute reports. Now, all the reports and the assets that are executed through Jasper Reports IO reside in a repository. A repository, it could be just like a folder, or it could be uh, also something that Jasper Reports is able to connect to and uh, resides in, uh, in an external environment. It could be an uh, S3 bucket, it could be a remote location. That's really not uh, uh, what's uh, important. The point is that with Jaspersoft Studio, you can create your repository before deploying it to, to in production. And we will see why it's important to uh, create a repository uh, inside Jaspersoft Studio uh, and test reports when uh, they are executed inside this repository. In terms of report execution and preview, today Jaspersoft Studio allows to uh, execute reports that are made for classic Jasper Reports library, which means what you probably implement in a Java application today. Uh, these reports may reside everywhere in your application, so there is uh, no a specific uh, way to reference resources uh, and assets in your reports. Jaspersoft Studio has Jasper Reports built in, so it's able to run these reports and preview it with the environment you configure inside Studio. When you work with Jasper Reports server, your assets and your reports are stored inside the Jasper Reports server repository. And through an API offered by Jasper Reports server, we can uh, uh, read the files and uh, save files inside this repository. Also, through Jasper Report Server API, Jasper Studio is able to remotely execute the report and show the preview inside Jasper Studio itself. When you work with Jasper Reports IO, you also want to use Jasper Reports IO as engine to execute your report. This is important because you will really have a sense or simply you will be able to test your reports when executed in this specific environment. The difference with the Jasper Report Server is that in that case, we are not connecting to an external instance of Jasper Reports IO, but inside Studio itself, we have multiple instances of Jasper Reports IO that will utilize a specific project as a repository for, for this instance of Jasper Reports IO. So here we come to the concept of repository type. It's clear that when a report is designed for a different type of repository, uh, what changes between uh, different reports is that is the way resources are referenced. If you have your own Java application, you may want to specify where are images, where are sub reports, where are funds, and moreover, your application is in charge to manage the, uh, the class paths to let Jasper reports find uh, uh, stuff like JDBC driver or scriptlets and so on. When you work with Jasper Reports server repository, all of this stuff is managed inside the repository. So the assets that you reference inside your report are usually relative to the repository you are using. In Jasper Reports IO, we also have this concept of repository which works in a way similar to the one in Jasper Report Server. So you reference uh, resources that are located inside the repository. And in Jasper Reports IO, Jasper Reports knows how to locate uh, properly that, uh, that resources. So when you create a new project now in Jasper Soft Studio, you have this option to specify which type of repository you are going to work when you execute this report. And Jasper Soft Studio will, uh, will use this information to show the appropriate viewer for your report. And in particular, it will activate the mechanism to work uh, with, the, uh, with the specific engine that uh, subtends to the type of repository you are using. Now, uh, in Jasper Soft Studio, 
you uh, may have multiple projects when one project is uh, set to be of type uh, Jasper Reports IO, in that case both my projects, uh, Jasper Soft Studio span a new server of Jasper Reports IO. And we are talking about some kind of uh, embedded server inside Jasper Soft Studio. This will allow the user when running the report to be sure that it acts just like it would be in a real Jasper Reports IO environment. Now, when your repository is ready, you can deploy your repository on your production environment in different ways. There is no specific functionality of Studio that allows you to do that. And this because the remote repository, the one you have in production, uh, may be located in, in, in uh, locations that cannot be directly accessed by Studio. And in other cases, you may want to use a, a more fancy mechanism to, up, to update your remote repository, such as using Git or any other controversial system, or you may have some special processes that require some uh, more advanced workflow with uh, authorization and so on. So Jaspersoft Studio, it's not proactive in deploying your repository like uh, it uh, may be with Jasper Reaper server. This is because JRIO does not offer in first place an API to manage this repository. After all, this is out of scope for what Jasper Reports IO has been designed for. Uh, but at the same time, you have uh, this possibility of testing your reports internally by using these instances of Jasper Reports IO that Jasper Soft Studio creates for you. Uh, an important characteristic of the Jasper Reports IO repository is its ability to be extremely flexible in terms of configuration. When you work with a typical Java application embedding Jasper Reports, or even when you work with Jasper Reports server, the Jasper Reports configuration is usually provided by a single uh, global file. So there is no really way to tweak uh, dynamically the configuration used to execute your reports, uh, which is okay in many cases, but in others, especially when you don't have a direct control over the execution from a programmatically point of view, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this could be inconvenient. But in Jasper Reports IO, each folder of the repository can actually have its own configuration. Now, this configuration is stored in a subfolder called jrinf, uh, and the name is context.xml, and the, all the reports that reside in a specific folder use that specific uh, configuration for their execution. The configurations actually, actually inherit all the configuration of the parent folder. And in this way, uh, you may just change what uh, is relevant to that particular folder if you want. Now, in Jasper Soft Studio, there is a tool that is just designed to let you create this context XML file. So you will not have to type anything. You just start working, uh, configuring your folder as you want.